Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, we will go through how we can download and install Angular packages, how to create and manage the Angular elements, how we can install individual packages within the Angular elements, and many more things. So let's get started. In order to download Anaconda, you first need to search Anaconda download. It can be as simple as that. The first link will take you to the landing page anaconda.com products slash distribution. So you will see an option for download here, which is default for Windows. So if you are using other OS like Mac or Linux, you can check those and then go ahead with the installation packages. So right now I am using Windows. I will be clicking on download. Then I will save this in one folder, which I have created as software. So let me just click on save. So it will start downloading. It's around 594 MB. So it will take few seconds to download. If you guys have good internet speed, it should not take more time than more than a minute or so. So let's wait for a few more seconds to get the download completed. So we are almost there. Just few hundred MBs. There you go. So we have successfully downloaded the Anaconda installation package. I just close this. I don't need this anymore. And minimize this. I am opening this here. Let me bring this up. If I go to my software and sort by date model, I can see the Anaconda package here. So, in order to install it, we just need to double click this. Okay. Once we double click this, it will initiate the installer package. So, you can see here where it says Welcome to Anaconda 3 2.4.2.2. 0.05. It's a 64 bit setup. So just click on next. You don't have to do really anything. You can say just to me or all users. It really depends on you. But it says it's recommended for just me. You just click on next. And it will ask for the folder where you want to have the packages for Anaconda. So what I do, I just browse for this. I'll go to this PC and in the C drive, I will create a new folder by name. Anaconda. Okay, so you see Anaconda here. I'll click OK. I'll be selecting that and then click on next. Then you will see here register Anaconda 3 as my default Python 3.9. So for any of the Python projects, Anaconda will be chosen as your execution environment, even though you have a vanilla Python installation. So what is vanilla Python installation? I will take another class on that part. So just bear with me. We can go ahead with this. Later in the sections, we can change the execution environment if we are using any different IDs according to our requirements. Okay. So let's click on install. It will take some time. So let me come back uh, once the installation is completed. So we are done with the installation here. Uh, it took around 10 minutes. Uh, let's once, once it is complete, it will just display a message as completed. You can simply finish on next and then finish. So you can see and it comes with an application tutorial and also how to get started with an So I'll just click on finish. So it will take you back to the introduction success page, but you won't have to register it. So you can just close it. Close this as well. We don't need that. Once the installation is completed, you can see that under your all apps section, you can see a folder created here, Anaconda. So once you go to Anaconda prompt, this is just like a command prompt, wherein you can execute some commands. Okay. Now, now we are done with installation of uh, Anaconda distribution package. We will see how we can create new environment. So as, as you can see, base here, right? You can see all, all of you can see here, right? Base symbol within the bracket. So this, this is our base environment comes by default once we finish our installation. Now let's say I want to create a new environment. So what I have to do for that? So in order to create a new environment, all I have to do is Conda create double hyphen name. Let's, Let's say I want to create, create a new environment, environment by 538, which stands for Python 
3.8 okay and i want it to be having python version 3.8 I am matching the version name of the Python with my environment name. This is not necessary. You can give any name to your environment if you can remember. It's just fine. So once you give this, you will hit enter. So now what it will do? It will create the packages required for creating and installing a new environment with Python 3.8. What we specified up here. You can see Python 3.8. So it, it asks for proceeding further. We just say yes, hit it by and then enter. Now it will start installing Python and follow the required packages for 3.8 version. So let's wait for a minute or two till it is done. So you can see its progress. It says it installed SQLite, it installed pip, which we can use to install Python packages. And also you can see the Python version here which is 3.8 okay now, now you can, can see it gives us two commands once after creation of the environment is completed to activate this environment we just have to say conda activate by 3.8 so conda activate is the command and whatever follows after that is the environment name that you want to work on so i just hit enter you will see instead of base now you can see by create so it says that now i am currently into this environment now guys you might be thinking why i created new environment and why this functionality is provided within an environment so see for all the projects that we execute in data science we will be requiring different kinds of packages and each package comes with its own version so pivotal packages are dependent on other packages with specific, specific versions. versions. So, so we, we cannot have one global environment with only a required package with a specific version. So for it depends on the project that we are executing, which packages we want to make use for that project. We will install specific versions of the each package. So in order to achieve that, we create an environment for each project. Whenever you are starting any new project, it is always better idea to start with a new environment for that particular project and install the required packages okay now now we are in pi 3 environment right so now let's see what all what all packages we have in this environment so for that we just have to say conda space list if you hit enter it will list out the packages that are present in this environment got it guys Okay, so, so you, you can, can see Python, Python version number, the pip version, version number. This is a Python, Python package installer. I will talk about this when I am dealing with vanilla Python installation. All right, and you, you can, can see, see some other CA certificates also installed, open SSL installed, installed. SQLite is also installed, and this version is 3.39. One, One package I am not seeing here, which is NumPy. All right, let, let me install that package. So to do that, all you have to do is on the install. NumPy. Now, now if, if you want to specify any version, version you can say NumPy is equal to or if you want to specify any version which is greater than some version, you can say greater than or equal to. All right. Now, I will just install the latest version of NumPy. So, to do that, I can just say Conda install NumPy. So, if I just do that, it will start installing NumPy package by collecting the metadata. Again, as usual, it will ask to proceed. You just hit Y and press enter. Now it will start installing number of packages. So it should not take long. It should be done within a minute. So let's see how long it takes. So you can see the progress here and the version of the number it is installing is 1.23.1. So that's it. Now we can see number version here. Let's see if it's getting reflected in the list of packages. So to do that, our command is conda list, right? So I'll just execute that. Earlier, you were not seeing numpy, right? You can see numpy here. Also, few of the packages which are required by numpy are installed. So you can see mkl, pit, mkl, mkl service, mkl random. These are all, these were all not present earlier, right? See, these were not present earlier. And also, while you are installing the numpy, it will say these packages will be installed as part of the numpy installation. So, so all those packages will be visible here. Okay. 
So now that we have seen how to create an email environment, how to install individual packages, how to activate the environment, now we will see how we can deactivate this environment. When I say deactivate, it is just coming out of this current environment, a current active environment and moving back to base. So in order to do that, you can either say on the deactivate or just type deactivate it will do. Now, now I am saying, saying Conda space deactivate, it has come out of the environment by 3 we, we can, can see again base here. Okay, okay. Now, now we are back to the base environment. environment. So, so if, if you have got any questions still now, you can post it in comments. Okay. Now, now we, we will see uh, how we can update individual packages. So before going to that, let's see what are all the commands that we can execute as part of the Conda command prompt. So I am opening up a document here. It is called as Conda cheat sheet. It lists out all the important commands available to be executed in an command, command prompt. Okay. So you see here, we can say, uh, let's say we just executed Conda install number. Right? So this is the Syntax for that. Conda install we give numpy as package name. So it is for numpy. So similarly, we can create an exact copy of the environment. Let's say I want to create a copy of py 38 that I just created. So I can say Conda create, I want to clone this environment from this environment. So I want to create an environment of name py 35 2. But, but I want this to be a cloned version of this environment. Okay, okay. so let's try that. So what, what it says here? here? Let me create an environment called as py create two. Similarly, what we can see in the cheat sheet here. Okay, so let's say conda create. I want to have the clone of py three eight. Okay. And, and the, the name, name of new environment will be pi 3 j icon 2. So if I just enter, it will start creating the new package pi 3 new environment, sorry, with the name pi 3 icon 2. It will be exact replica of pi 3 a. Let me tell you what you mean by clone of pi 3 or clone of any environment. Once it is complete, I will show you by executing the command. Now, now let me, now it is completed creating the environment by the FM2. Let me go into that environment. Let, uh, and to go into that environment, what you have to do is conda activate by create FM2. So that's how newly created environment. So now if I hit enter, I can see I am into this particular newly created environment by the 2 Now let me see what all the packages are currently available in this environment. Once I execute the command conda list, you can see the packages which were all available with pi 3.8 are all available with pi 3.8.2 as well. Why? Because it is a clone of pi 3.8. Got it? So, this is how you can execute few commands like creating the environment, activating the environment, deactivating the environment, how you can install the packages. Okay? So, if you have got any questions till this point, you can reach out to me via comment section and for other commands to be executed over an command command prompt you can see it here okay i will give the link of this cheat sheet in the video description so enjoy the learning thanks bye bye